Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in this video, we are going to, you know, work on the playlist of MCP. So this is going to be the third video in the MCP playlist series model context protocol. In the first video, I introduced you what MCP means, right? So basically, uh, you know, the theoretical aspect behind it. In the second video, you know, we created a simple MCP server and used that via an MCP client, uh, Claude for desktop, you know, in that case. Now in the third video, we are going to basically take one step further and bring an external API in our MCP server. So we're gonna create an MCP server that's going to use uh, an API that's gonna basically get user profiles details from LinkedIn. So for example, you know, if I want to, you know, use that API to get details about someone's profile on LinkedIn, I will use that uh, to create this MCP server and will use Claude for desktop as a client to basically scrap or get all the details. So let's jump in and see how we can do that. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I am on my LinkedIn profile. You know, you can see it says Sonu Kumar. That's the profile that we're going to copy from here and uh, you know, this is, you can see it says co-founder, CTO at Sporo Health, AI entrepreneur, blah, blah, blah. Some followers, uh, the followers, you know, if you're not following me on LinkedIn, if you're not connected, let's connect and exchange thoughts, you know, on LinkedIn. But I'm going to just, you know, fetch some information. But how can I do that? If I ask Claude right now, you know, without using any kind of MCP server, you know, it might not give me these details. Let's try it out here, guys. So if you look at, I am on my Claude for desktop. And it says, good evening, Sonu, how can Claude help you today? If you click on this hammer icon, it shows three MCP tools available. So I already have built this tool called get underscore profile. It says, get LinkedIn profile data for a given profile URL. Arguments are LinkedIn underscore URL, the LinkedIn profile URL. Uh, so I'm gonna write, you know, fetch all details from this profile. But if I do it right now, it will not work because I haven't, you know, started the, I haven't even started the uh, server, uh, the, the MCP server, the, the Python code where I have written this, right? I have the configuration, but I haven't, you know, added that. So I'm gonna go inside LinkedIn MCP and let me just open this in terminal. And I'm going to, of course, first show you what is there inside it. Of course, we're gonna build this. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build this, but that's fine. You can see we are using some rapid API keys, blah, blah, blah. Now, let me just run this. I'm gonna do CD VENV scripts and dot slash active activate and couple of CD dot dot. You can see the project VNV has start, you know, it, it has been enabled. Now I'm gonna just do UV run and LinkedIn.py. Now, when I do this, if we run LinkedIn.py, now my backend code is running the, uh, now my server is now running and I have put this config in Cloud desktop config files. You know, I, if you don't know how to do that, I'll probably show you, uh, you know, go to fetch settings in the developer. You can see I have LinkedIn profile. You can see it says running and this is where the argument is, command is, blah, 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 right? I'm not gonna edit config. Now let's see what, what happens. When I run this, it will ask me which tool to use and it will automatically automatically figures out which tool to use and particularly fetch the information. So you can see it says running get underscore profile from LinkedIn profile scrapper local because MCP server is right now run, running locally. That's where Claude can access it. I'm gonna also show you in the future videos how you can solve that on internet and use it. Now you can see it says LinkedIn URL. It has fetches a lot of information. You can see it says Sonu Kumar's LinkedIn profile, personal information, name Sonu Kumar, location Hyderabad, Telangana, co-founder, CTO, blah, blah, blah. This is my total connection. This is my total followers. Uh, you know, about, I don't have any about, you know, I said too many things to write here. Let's talk current positions. It gives me what I'm currently doing. You know, I'm trying a venture. I'm working on a venture right now. Uh, you know, Sporo Hell, that's what I'm building. Uh, you know, it, it gives a lot of information. My previous experiences, I have tons of experience, guys, you know, in this space. 
uh, you know, company information, language, skills. It also fetches all the skills. So, you know, if you you can see it says the cloud does not have internet access. Link provider may not be accurate or up to date. So, as you can rightly see, cloud don't have right now the internet access. You know, if you use the if you are using the uh, models through cloud. Now, I have built an MCP server that can go on LinkedIn if given a profile URL and fetches all the relevant. You can you can customize this. I'll show you what API I'm using. This is what we're gonna build, you know, in this video. So let me show you how I have built this. Okay, so not rocket science, right? What I have done, I have created a folder called project. And in the project, I have basically what I did. I'll show you what I have done here. So you just create a project. Let's say you create a project called LinkedIn scrap server, right? I create this for uh, directory. Now I go uh, inside this directory. You can see I'm I did CD inside it, right? LinkedIn scrap server. Now when I did uh, LinkedIn scrap server, the next thing that I have to do, I have to just do UV, right? You can you can init a project within it, or you can also just if you don't want to create it, just say UV VENV. So when I say UV VENV, I'm using UV, which is a package manager to replace pip and you know other uh, poetry and so on and so forth, right? So I'm using UV V. When I do UV VENV, it's going to create a virtual environment. You can see it said creating virtual environment at dot VENV. The better to initialize it. So if you don't want to like do it, initialize through UV. You can just say UV in it project blah blah blah. It will create the pi project or two ML files. It will is easier to manage. Uh, you can also do UV VENV directly and install it through pip. Uh, as well, so you can see VNV. Now I'm gonna do uh, cd VNV scripts dot slash activate. When I do that, you can see it says LinkedIn scrap server. Let me clean that up. Now once you do that, you're gonna just do UV add, and you have to do MCP CLI. So this is how you should write it. Uh, MCP CLI. We are using HTTPX, and I think that should do. You can request model is already part of it. You just add this. Once you add it, it will install. And after that, I'll just give you a walkthrough of the code, right? So let me give you a walkthrough of the code. Here I am using uh, this API base. You can see phrase LinkedIn profile data dot p rapid API dot com. That's what I am using. So if I just copy this here, let me just copy this. I'm using a free API from Rapid API. If you don't know what Rapid API is. You should, you should go and you know look at that rapid api it's a marketplace for api where you can just go and uh, find out okay so let me just do a rapid api here and you can see this is what i am using you know i am using this particular uh, uh, api here get personal profile of course i'm gonna uh, do that this is what i'm using and you can see it over here a rapid api Personal profile and I've, I've hidden a few things due to the APIs. Like my API is here, so I just blurred that. But yeah, I'm using this rapid API. Go to this API and click on for you it will be subscribe. So first you have to log in, subscribe, and they give you free as well. You can see get personal profile, and you can find out all the details here. You can see it's using HTTP client. So this is what I am using you know, to build this MCP server. Now I got that, so I created an ENB file where I have kept this rapid API key. You know in this case and this is what i am doing you can see and now i just created a fast mcp uh client here you can see mcp fast mcp and give a name called linkedin underscore profile underscore scrapper and these are the base uh, base and host and here i have all my parameters creating a function called get linkedin data passing the linkedin url as a string and you can see uh, excuse me, by the way, and here I have some parameters that I know we, we can use. We can also include include skills. True means that it will also fetch the skills from the profile. As you could see, let me go to cloud here. You could see it has fetches all the skills like agents, machine learning, AI, data science, blah blah blah. If you include certifications, true, it will also fetch all the certifications, all the publications, volunteering, projects, patents, courses, organizations, and profile status and everything. So if you include true. You know they will charge more credits for your APIs, but they give uh, I think every day fifty profile that you can scrap. I think that's fine enough. You can pay also, right? But in the upcoming video, I'm also gonna use crawl for AI and uh, fire crawls and all of those things to show that. So please wait for those videos as well. Now you can see I have an async client over here to kind of do and try and accept to fetch the information, and I'm using await here to because this might take a bit of time uh, for the concurrent users, right? For concurrency and you can see the timeout over here 30 seconds or whatever and then i 
I have defined this function and I'm using that function within a tool. So this is how you define mcp.tool. In the previous video, I have shown you that how we create a tool through a decorator. So you can see mcp.tool and I'm just using that get LinkedIn data function over here, right? And I'm just dumping this out and then just mcp.run transport studio. That's what I'm doing. Standard input output. That's what I'm doing now. This is how I created this LinkedIn.py file, but this is not enough because you have to make this available to a client to use it, right? So what you have to do in that case, come here, file, settings, go to developer, and you can see we have, I have two MCP running, like weather and LinkedIn profile. Now, if you click on edit config, it will take me to the cloud folder. You just right click, open with VS code, you can just do code, and you could see here how I have added it. So my first server was a different program. MCP servers are like lightweight program guys. You know, these are programs that you write it. It can be different. It can be in any language like TypeScript, Rust and Go and so on and so forth. And you can connect that to any MCP client, right? That supports like you have client, you have cursor, windsurf, cloud for desktop, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to cursor, windsurf and client in the future videos. But yeah, if you look at here, I have, uh, one uh, server here for weather and now this is the new server which is LinkedIn profile scrapper make sure you keep the same name that you have defined over here you know LinkedIn profile scrapper you can see this right and then I have where my UV is installed if you're not UV, using UV if you're using node or if you are using uh, pip make sure that command for for node command it can be global as well because that's global so don't have to worry about it but you know for pip you can give this uh, where you have installed pip where you have the pip and then in this argument, I'm giving the project directory. You can see my project directory is this project. You can see this is what I'm giving. And I have run LinkedIn.py. That's my file name. So make sure you also have that. And then save it. And once moment you save it and you run this through UV run, let's say you do, uh, you know, UV run, blah, 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 and it will run, right? So that's how it works, as, as simple as that. Now, you can just you can see mine is already running uv run linkedin.py you can also do uv run uh, linkedin.py and it will start working now the the most important thing is if you don't find how uh, that uh, uv path if you are on mac system you do which uv and it will give you if you do where uv on python uh, where if you on windows it will give you the path you just copy it and paste it in the config file you know for the client mcp client so you can see, you could see how how we develop this guys, right? Simple. Uh, this is the third video in the playlist for you. The project is like where you want to fetch LinkedIn profile information, you know, through an MCP client. That's what we did. I hope you got an idea of it. You could see how beautiful output we are getting. In the future video, we're gonna use MCP installer in the next video. After that, we're gonna use uh, a cursor and windsurf, you know, to uh, create our uh, of course, connect to the client through that, and that's what we're gonna build. We're gonna build an interesting thing, you know, on the on on this MCP playlist. So I hope you like this video. The code will be available on my GitHub repository. You just have to go on GitHub and MCP repository and find all of these MCP servers that I'm creating. These are for beginners, guys. They're not for people who are already working with MCPs. I think there is still time. Like we'll go to seventh, eighth video. That's where the advanced concepts will come up. Now. If you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the fourth video of MCP playlist.